They asked me how a sun could simultaneously be the moon. So I answered, look to Abbas, and you will see no contradiction between the two. The sun of the first moon and twelve lunar cycles, the sun of the first of Muhammad's twelve disciples, the sun of the first one who stood beside him to destroy the idols, the sun of the one whose two speared swords split the enemies of his lord in every war, from Badr to Hunayn, whose light descended through his veins to give birth to a lion descended from his mane to continue destroying the idols on Karbala's plains. As he stood there, it was like Ali a second time had came to stand by Muhammad who was embodied in Hussein, for this was Karbala. So when they fought Hussein, know they waged war on Muhammad. When they struck Abbas, know that it was Ali they dismembered. And yet some still debate who were the members of the cloak. When in the Mubahala, the Quran clearly spoke, saying, Ali is my nafs, the soul beneath my throat. Did you not hear, O people, when sounds reverberated from it as I would quote, Whoever I am their master, Ali is their master and that Hassan and Hussein are masters of the youth in the hereafter, and that Hussein is from me, and I am from him. These claims are not based on whims to care for the Prophet's nearest kin, and the verse 42-23 of the Qur'an, these are none other than God's commands. Yet I remind you of what God stated in Surat Al-Insan, verses 5-11, to that talk about the four guaranteed heaven who fed the poor while fasting for three days, none other than Ali. Fatima, Hassan and Hussein, and how to you, Ya Muhammad, will your Ummah explain how Ali they betrayed and brought him so much pain? Will they not be ashamed to know that what happened in Saqifa created the Karbala of Hussein? O oh Muhammad, what did they do after you, you ask? Remember when they planned to attack you before the Hijra's night, and your moon set overhead waiting in your bed, in your stead, with his sword, God's enemies to hell he would send and rise to protect you and Islam time and time again? Well, I'm afraid to say, my Prophet, that in Karbala, when the moon to protect Hussein would descend, he would not rise again. Why couldn't he? Tell him, my Prophet, to stand, Ya Abbas, stand! Ask him why he can't use his hands to pick himself up. Ask him why from his face he does not wipe his blood. Eventually, Eventually. he would rise, O my Prophet. Do not fear. When they shoved his severed head upon a metal spear and raised it to the heavens. But don't grieve, O my Prophet Muhammad. Can't you see? Your son, the Qamar of your Banu Hashim, is free. In the heavens, a beaming light, and every night he is a witness of the Karbala's of today. O moon, you witness the oppression in every country, continent, and land. O son of Ali, who would bear the banner of truth before it fell from your severed hands, the twelfth Imam awaits the world to abandon false rulers and re-raise your flag from America to Afghanistan, from Palestine to Pakistan from Ferguson to Kenosha, across every continent, surrounded by every ocean. Do the oppressors not know that the moon's gravity controls the water's motion, and that the message of Abbas and Hussein, like the moon and the stars, Bain and Haramain, will create a tidal wave made of us that will drown the pharaohs of today like the pharaoh of Moses. Let them know that the waves are coming soon when the sons and daughters of the moon change the tide to end the global dominance of the people of crime. But God never punishes his creations before he sends them warnings and signs as he is sending us now before the twelfth sunrise. sunrise. Just as he sent them to the people in the past, Ya Abbas, God warned this ummah to not cause Karbala. He sent them proof. When the Prophet split the moon in two, it was as if he was showing his ummah what they would do to you, to his sun, to his moon. When they split the moon into two, they asked me how a sun could simultaneously be the moon. 
look to Abbas and you will find no contradiction between the two, between